cyber. So the course project for this course is going to build your Schoology learning space or online unit with uh, design principles we talked about, and then also in ways that reflects and meets the uh, needs of each quadrant of the learning model. So this is my personal example of if I were building a course or in the classroom today, this is how hey, I would set up my Schoology course space. And the story behind this, you know, back in the summer of 22, uh, staffing was a nightmare. And then about like three or four, about you know, two or three weeks before the beginning of school, a uh, bunch of us in central office were told, well, you need to be prepared to just stop your job and be assigned to a school. So well, with that order, I was you know, thinking about how might I create my Schoology course in a way that you know, really leans into student-centered learning and um, you know, shifts the responsibility from you know, me as the giver of information to students as, uh, as active learners and empowered to take ownership of their learning experience. So this is the course structure I came up with. I want to highlight some couple things here. Um, first, I want to go over the folder structure. I want to talk about how I plan to start the year with an all about me activity. How I was thinking about using exit tickets using Schoology discussions on a daily basis. And then how I would eventually get to create unit choice boards, giving okay. students well, multiple well, options exactly. to there, um, consume not. content, process content, and do assessment, you know, show what they have learned. So, so as you can see, the, what I decided to do is have a folder structure based on my units. So we would have um, our, you know, our current work highlighted in a different color for the current unit, current week's work, past units would go into the past work folder, upcoming work would be in the future work folder. And then in addition to that, I have kind of a running discussion board for any questions students may have, any suggestions they would like to share, anything they want to discuss with the class. And so we'll not just use this as an opportunity to have them ask their questions to me as the instructor, but hopefully get to a point where we formed a community where they were learning as much from each other as they were from the materials I made available and me as the quote teacher. Oh, it's the under the ditch safe. And then this folder would just be kind of the syllabus and just general school information, <laughs> kind of you know, things they would need to know. And so that would be the space for that. And then just another folder for just general support materials, tools we were using, sites. Yeah. So that's where anything that would be maybe needed through the entirety of the school year, like a links to the Schoology help for students, um, Ally for LMS, Immersive Reader, you know, things I would want to share with them, like how to use the tools, either general or curriculum specific, that we were, they would need to access throughout the year. Okay, so that's the folder structure. And I was going to start the year, plan to start the year with a you know, be intentional about building community, get to know each other. So start with the, uh, you know, a, and I'll build an about me slide. So that's an example I would share. You know, that's you've probably seen that before. That talks about me and my work in FCPS. But use that as an example. But then give students you know, the first couple days, plus it's an easy start of the school year, where they generate their own about me slide. And so I you know, used this as a template, they had a template. Um, it would give them some exemplars from the ESPIC community, make an assignment where they'd submit it to me. And so, you know, give, give a couple, first couple classes would be time to work on that, to introduce themselves. Again, take the time up front to kind of build that learning environment where we would get to, get to know them. They could share what they wanted about themselves with myself as the teacher and each other. And then I also had planned to, okay, so that was the assignment. And then step two, once I got all those, I would post them in a uh, Schoology media album where they'd see each other's and then they could comment on their own to highlight anything about themselves and then they would view and then comment on each other's about me slides, you know, start with the people you're sitting with and then move on to other classmates with similar interests. So kind of take some intentional time the first week or so to kind of build that community. And then I also had planned to print all of these out and they are one per page and then post them around my physical classroom. So that was kind of how I was going to start the year with a, an intentional build community. Um, you know, 
and so I'm just touching base with some of the learning model characteristics. So uh, teachers feel part of a trust, students feel part of a trusted learning environment. You know, teachers intentionally build relationships with and among students to establish trust and support learning. Um, so again, taking that time up front at the beginning of the year to help establish that community. Well, I think as long as it's not something that we provide. Another thing I had planned to do was daily use a discussion board as an exit ticket. And so I took the time and I made a board for each day of the school year. And my, my vision would be, would like to get to a place where how the class would run is teach, uh, students would come in, I'd say, all right, you know what you need to be working on, go work on it. And then I would kind of be sitting in the corner and then my time, use my time in, in the face-to-face -face classroom to have like one-on-one -on -one conferences with individual students to check in on where they are in the learning process and really lean into that guide on that guide on the side well, model. And so the exit ticket for each day would be at the end of every class, take a few minutes to respond. You know, what did you do today? And so this, this would be the accountability where they'd explain what they actually worked on each physical classroom, any questions they had, what's still fuzzy, and then plan their next steps. So if you lead, get into that, the learning model goal uh, needs of like involving students and in helping plan their work, take ownership of work, um, ownership of learning, learning, creating goals, setting goals, working towards goals, that kind of thing. And so you know, what, did, what are your next steps? What should you do between now and the next time we meet? What will you do before then? And so then every day they would have a record of what they worked on. Also, since parents can see their students' work in Schoology with their parent view accounts, this would also, I also intended to use this as in parent conferences and let my parent community know, hey, you have questions about what your kid's working on in my course, log into Schoology, go into the course. There's every single day, they will be self-reporting what they're working on. And so you can check that at any time and then use that to help with the school parent connection using these daily exit tickets. And then just in terms of uh, management in the current folder, I would have the exit ticket for the exit tickets for the current week. Once they're done, I would move those to the past work folder, created a separate you know, past exit tickets place for them to land. And then in the future work folder, and the students, I wouldn't make this available for students, but I had, that's where I took, created one for each day of the school year. And then just during the year, I just copied the, these five into the current work folder. Once they were done, I would copy those into the past exit ticket folder. So that's how I was planning to use a discussion as an exit ticket on a daily basis. And then final thing I wanted to highlight here is in the current work folder. Yeah, this, that's, that's, that's about as far as I got in my planning. Um, then when I got the word that you know, I wouldn't be reassigned to a, a school for the year, for, or to start the year, or potentially for the whole year. So that's kind of where I got. But my thought process was I would build out my units as a choice board where I would give students multiple options for consuming content in the curriculum resources I posted, give them options for processing the content of what they're learning, and then multiple options to demonstrate what they had learned. I had planned on you know, some would be mandatory, in this case, notes on things they chose to consume. I would have a mandatory unit test that I would schedule at certain times or maybe let them, you know, give them a, an idea of where they about when they should take it. I hadn't got to the point of how, how strict that would be in terms of calendar and schedule and, you know, and the unit test is going to be on that day, make sure you're there by then or take it when you're ready to take it type of deal, but it must be done by X date. So it kind of gives them some flexibility in um, pacing, which is why I set up the structure with current unit. You should be about here, but here's past resources if you're not quite done. Here are future resources if you're ready, if you're done and ready to move on to the next thing. So get some choice in pace, pacing. Um, 
but again, the idea was like my, my plan was to, you know, do some flipped learning, some video lectures that I'd make, some things we could find on the, the content area from Learn360 or from the web, and actually also you know, give an opportunity for students to search their own learning materials on the content that I wanted them to learn, and then they'd submit it to me, I'd vet it, and then add them to this first column, and it gives them some choice about which resources they'd want to consume as part of the, part of the learning process. So. That's kind of my thoughts on how I might set up this course if I were back in the classroom today using Schoology tools to uh, help create a student-centered learning environment and hopefully that gives you some ideas. Again, don't have to do this, just wanted to share some of my personal thoughts on how I would set up my Schoology class were I in the classroom today.